This video is brought to you by E10 Marin. Thank you for being a farm baron. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Calm Lands. But before that, this video is brought to you by Nuka-Cola and Uberk. Thank you for being farm barons. So Calm Lands is a No Man's Land-esque style map. It is a build your own map style of map. Now this map can be downloaded over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And this map, as of its 1.0 release, is indeed available for all platforms. Now let's read a little bit of the description. Calm Lands is a map of unknown location. In it, you will find a winding terrain with several forests and many hectares of uncultivated land. The map is 100% prepared to build your own farm style and fields. Sales area where you can sell all your generated products. An edited license plate. Edited base game vehicles and tools. New product in donuts. There is a placeable sawmill. An edited biogas plant that is going to allow you to extract methane and sell it at an alternate sell point. A placeable grain dryer, animal stables that have been increased to a greater capacity, and all types of trees and bushes, as well as several custom ground textures that you can also paint. With that, let's go ahead and jump on in. We are going to go ahead and use our field calculator mod, which we recently did a mod no, new and noteworthy mod review on. That will hopefully help us identify how many fields there are and how much we're going to need to use to fertilize them and seed. You saw the map loaded up nice and fast. And I will say that if you play this map on any game mode, the starting farm here at field four, our land area four, is going to look exactly how you see it right here. In fact, the buildings and the equipment are here in all play modes. You can also sell all of these buildings, should you so wish, assuming you own the land. So the farms are completely and totally customizable. Let's go ahead and take a look at that PDA. Just like No Man's Land, you're going to see that the map has been laid out in a set of kind of a grid pattern with 55 viable plots of land. If we take a look at the lands area, you'll see that we start out by owning field plot or area four, which does include the only defined field on this map in field one. For the most part, there are two different sizes of plots. We have the plot like field four, and then we have the area like field six or area six, which is a smaller area. Field area six can be bought for six or sorry, seventy thousand dollars. Plot one can be bought for ninety thousand dollars. It does include a little bit of a landing for possibly building out your own farm. Plot number eighteen also includes a little bit of a landing to build out something that is one hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars. You will notice that areas like this have been carved out. So you cannot own the lake, nor can you own the river, or can you own the area where the viable or where the sell points are. So in those areas, we do have a reduced purchase price. For example, a plot 42, which includes mostly forest, can be bought for $97,000. Plot 34, which is a combination of forest, grassland, and we're losing a bit of plot 34 with the lake. That can be bought for $117,000. And area 39, which is halved, if you will, by the river, can be bought for $97,500. If you take a look here at our crops, we have all of our standard crops available to us here in Farm Sim 22. We look at our growth calendar, you will see that we do have the default in-game growth calendar available to us on the map. And if we look at our prices screen, you will see that we do indeed have the ability to sell all of the crops that we can grow 
in the base game, including sugar beet cut. We also have the ability to sell all of our animal outputs in eggs, wool, and milk. And then when we move down here to our production, we also have the ability to sell all of the available production on this map, with the exception of one thing. And I have to say I was beating my head on the table when I realized this, but we cannot sell stones on this map. I am fairly certain that I have deducted a quarter of a point on other maps that have not included a stone sell point. And yes, I know you can place your own stone crusher, but given the way that stones spawn in this game, really think you need to have a built-in way of getting rid of these things because they are all over the place when you plow. We Here we have the donuts as a new production crop that you can sell also. All of the equipment is on the map in all play modes. We start out with a decent list of starting equipment. We're going to run through all of that here in a little bit. There are no animals on this map at the start. We also do not have any production chains available to us at the start. And if you start out in farm manager or start from scratch, you could have the potential of getting a single contract off of field one because you do not own it until you buy plot four. Since we own field one in new farmer mode, there are no available contracts. And just to show you with the field calculator, there is only one defined field on this map. So we are only seeing one field listed in the field calculator. Let's go ahead and jump to the build mode because I want to go through some things. First off, I want to go to our planting, our painting, and I want to paint down couple different ground textures so we have animal mud asphalt concrete dirt forest ground grass dry grass gravel gravel we have several different gravel options Gravel, more gravel, even more gravel, rock, and granite. If we take a look at our trees, see we have a large list of trees available to us that we can plant here on the map, including the trees that we saw on the French map. Then as far as plants go, we have a long list of plants and shrubbery that we can also place on the map now if we go to buildings you'll see that we have two custom sheds which interestingly enough are not pre-placed at the start that are available on this map we have long shed and then we have a shed wide there are no custom silos silo extensions containers or tools or farmhouses but we do have custom production. So as the description said, we have a custom corn dryer or hay dryer. It takes grass and outputs hay. Basically a modified hay loft. And we have an edited Calm Lands BGA. And this BGA has been set up to basically have a methane output. So if we look here at the front, Methane is going to be extracted from the center trigger right here by the mouse cursor. Then we have a custom sawmill located right here. And then we have our donut shop, which is a modified bakery that is going to accept sugar, flour, and eggs. And it's going to output donuts for $40,000. There are no custom cell points, greenhouses, orchards, or generators. We do have some custom edits in our animal areas. So the largest two animal cow areas have been edited to hold 250 cows as opposed to 80. The pigs have been edited to hold 400 as opposed to 
270. The sheep have been edited to hold 300 as opposed to 65. And there are no custom chicken, bee, or other animal areas. And we've already run through the decorative bits. There's nothing special under fences, others, or lighting. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our starting fleet. In new farmer mode, we start out by owning the McCormick X8 627 VT drive and the Landini 7-200 Robo 6. We have the Topliner 4090H Harvester that is paired up with the 4090H Grain Header. We also have the Topliner 4090H Header Trailer associated with that. We have the Branter Z18051-2 XXL Power Flex Trailer. We have the Cooverland Echo Mat Plow, the Ventura 4030 Cedar, the 4140 Trail Behind Mower. Then we have the Hauer Front Loader Arms that is paired up with the Front Loader Forks or the Pallet Forks. We have a Low Loader and then we have a pair of front 750 kilogram front weights. While we are here, let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can identify the custom equipment that is available on the map. So we have a custom McCormick that has the ability to change colors. Custom Landini. Here we can see the custom license plate that we have available on this particular map. We have a water, water a color selectable water trailer that has also been configured to hold methane. We have a methane water tanker also here. A methane tanker is also color selectable. And then we have the Amazon fertilized spreader that has been modified to also accept lime. That is the ZGTS 10,001 combo and the ZATS 3200 combo. Oh, let's go ahead and do our farm tour of Shed 1, Farmhouse, and Shed 2. And that concludes our farm tour. If I haven't already said so, all of the buildings are indeed sellable on the map. Take a look at our ground textures. Animal mud, asphalt. Then we have various dirt, forest ground, grass, dry grass, several different iterations of gravel. Then all of these are using the new texture technique. We have rock and granite or stone. This map does include the 20 game cartridge collectibles that are from the Holt Baylor Room map. And if you collect all those, they will spawn here and you will get a cool $1 million, I believe, as a result of your efforts. Let's go ahead and get set up for our fly around. We're going to fly around the map as opposed to doing a drive around because really there's just one central place to drive around and that is up by the shop and that is where all of the cell points are. I think we're just going to hit those with our flyover. So unlike No Man's Land, you do see that this map does include AI traffic. So out of the main farm, we're going to go down and around a little windy drive. Field one right here is the only predefined field on the map. Everything else is up to your imagination. This road is a 3D object, so you will not be able to terraform or basically plow up this road. It is fixed and permanent, but it really doesn't take up too much space on the map. You're going to see that it has an exit tunnel over here, and ultimately it is in the northeastern corner of the map. really only affects plot 7, 4, 41, uh, 44, 30, 42 and 27. So 
the only areas are going to be affected are going to be right here. This is the only area that's affected by the permanent road. The road is going to kind of wind its way up the hill, make its way around this little grove of trees. We have a nice forest here with a road that you can see is winding around and down the hillside that eventually dumps out over here, kind of where the predefined road exits the map. And again, another exit tunnel. And the road is going to loop around this forest, which is also where all of the cell points are located as well as the vehicle shop. All of the other roads that you may see on the map are simply painted gravel and they can easily be removed by doing a create fields function. And then you can paint in your own roads should you so wish. And here we have the entrance into the only cell points that are predefined on the map. We have our vehicle shop here to our left. So we have our shop trigger. I will go ahead and get the Mahindra just so we'll see where the vehicle spawn point is. We have a fairly decent sized vehicle spawn point. With our Mahindra spawning there, we can go probably all the way over to the fence. And then potentially we have the room for another row here in front also. Around the side, we're going to find our customized cell repair and trade trigger. Located right there. I think I will drive around just to save the walking sound so here we have our wool and cotton cell point we have our fuel depot we also have the a methane fuel pump Looking for an electrical charging station. I don't see that either. Here we have our grain cell point. Over here we have a bulk buy point. I wanted to see what we can buy here. And I'm worried I might be too short. Yeah, look, my trailer is just a wee bit too short. Sorry. Just a wee bit too short here, so I won't be able to see what we buy with this particular trailer. We have our milk cell point right there. Here we have our cell point for our olives and grapes. Here we have a cell point for our root crops as well as sugar cane and sugar beet cut. Here we have our silage, hay straw, and grass cell point. While we do have a placeable sawmill, we also have the ability to sell logs and wood chips right here. Our ability to sell methane is located right here this is where we're going to be transporting methane from the custom bga that's available on the map here we have a second possible grain cell point kind of forget what this cell point is let's take a look So this is the cooperative cell point for things that we can produce. And then around the corner we have our cell point or our animal dealer. 
And then we have our animal dealer trigger itself located right here. Go ahead and get some more altitude. Now, overall, I think this map looks really nice. And I'm not really sure why the map has the rating it has on the Giants website at this point. Other than possibly people just rating it down because they feel it's in some way a No Man's Land clone. Which any, any build your own map is at this point a No Man's Land clone. Because No Man's Land is the map that created and defined this build-your-own-map genre. So, I don't really get it. I don't really get it. I don't know why people are maybe voting it down because it's... They think it's maybe a, a knockoff of No Man's Land. It's one of those things, uh, impersonation is, you know, a, I really don't remember... <laughs> The phrase at this point, but at any rate, I think you all know my point, and trust me, there will be a thousand people putting the comment in there as to what I'm trying to talk about. So here we have another possible building zone with a couple sheds already pre-placed. As the description said, we have nice rolling hills all the way across the map. Like how we have some kind of scattered forests and trees. There are less trees, I believe, on this map than there are on No Man's Land. That is for sure. Here we have Field 18. We have our other buy point. Or sorry, not buy point, but possible building area located right here. We do have a river that cuts through the map. There are two bridge crossings. One located right here and one a little bit further down. Nice intersection. The roads there. And then we have the lake. This nice road that's winding down towards the lake a little bit of a forest above the lake let's go ahead and talk about our ratings here so with respect to does the map include production or have areas set aside for the placement of such well there are three possible areas where you could to build your farm or production and given the fact that the map is a build your own map Pretty much everywhere on the map is a possible area to place such production. So we also have the custom donut production. We have a grass dryer. We have a custom BGA and sawmill. And we also have custom animal areas. So I'm going to give this map a full point with regard to having production built in or placements set aside for such. Can you sell everything that you can create? Yes. The fact that you cannot sell stones, I feel I'm going to have to deduct a quarter of a point because we have done that in the past. So we are going to give this map three quarters of a point with regard to can you sell everything that you can produce on the map. Can the farms be customized? Yes, indeed, they can truly be customized. So we're going to give the map a full point on that regard. Buildings where appropriate are using the new texture technique and 3D look. They are for the most part. There might be a few buildings up at the cell point that are maybe questionable. But overall, I'm going to give the map a full point on that regard because we also have custom ground textures. We have a custom. We have a couple custom buildings also. That are available on the map that are indeed using those new techniques. And then the last rating criteria is are all the triggers and player interactive areas clearly marked? I do believe that they are with respect to up here at the main area where all of the cell points and such are located. 
So we're going to give it a full point on that regard. So that is going to give this map a 4.75 out of 5. As I said, I was banging my head on the table when I realized that we couldn't sell stone because this could have been yet another 5 out of 5 if, in my opinion, it had included a stone crusher up here in this kind of industrial area. Let me know your thoughts on Calm Lands down in the comments below. Is this a map that you are going to be looking to add to your save game list? Add it to your maps to eventually get around to playing? I kind of like the map. I think it works out great. I think if you are maybe... Can you even be possibly burned out on No Man's Land? But maybe if you are maybe a little bit burned out on No Man's Land because you have put so many hours into it, then this map might provide that little bit of kind of refreshment to rejuvenate your creative skills. And until next time, happy farming.